20. <laughs> Missed my cue there, I boss. didn't know I was gonna give you a cue until I gave it to you. We are gonna test a lot of girth hitches today. We're gonna do it with Dyneema slings. Nylon. And we're gonna do it on hangers. We're gonna do it on round stock, like a climbing ring or a carabiner. We're also gonna test girth hitch master points. John Godino from Alpine Savvy from Instagram and alpinesavvy.com. One of the most popular things I see on your page is people talking about girth hitches. What is the number one concern that people seem to have when you bring up girth hitching this to a hanger or girth hitch master points or anything? Seems to be that it dangerously weakens the material to some catastrophic potential level. And, and what do you think? I think generally it doesn't because we're starting out with something that's really, really strong in the first place. But let's hit it and see what happens and see if our assumptions are correct. I'm trying to read all the future comments before I see them. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Let's start by putting the slings directly on a hanger. Oh, that was higher than I thought. I'd like to just point out your Dyneema sling, you're all worried about it girth hitched on there like that? Look what it does to the hanger. It was lower. That's like that's low. that's too low to be good. Consistently well, so not bad. good. You can see that one has a tiny bit of damage there. Mm -hmm. And it was creased obviously. I just wonder how much dressing or undressing it or an inadvertent twist in here. And this one you can see is obviously really messed up in a few different places. Look at how it's damaged before. Like it's yeah. quite comparable to that one. Yeah, and then some of the other ones are more just pop where it just failed in one spot. So yeah, but the numbers are very consistent. On the Dyneema, certainly, yeah. And it is pretty consistent on the nylon too. If you erased nylon and Dyneema and said which one was nylon and Dyneema, I would have guessed a hundred percent the higher number was was yeah. nylon. What's next, John? Well, we're gonna check out girth hitch with the Dyneema sling on a rounded surface here. Note this carabiner is totally round bar stock, not I-beam style, which might offer a little more friction. The bend radius is less sharp. This in theory should give us more strength. Seventeen point six two. There you go. You know, get a little deformed there, like inside the... Looks really the, damaged right here, though. Yeah, certainly where it <laughs> broke. <laughs> no way! It's over 20! <laughs> oh, so consistent. Yeah, 19.39. That's exactly what we got before. It's like such a clean failure, and then the other ones can be shredded all the way down there. It's so interesting, huh? This isn't just simulating girth hitching on a carabiner, but also like on a rappel ring or anything that isn't a sharp bend radius. And it's interesting that the nylon and the Dyneema both did well, but the nylon did better this time than the Dyneema. Yeah, yeah, it's... That's... You wouldn't have assumed it, but... That's how it works, I guess. But yeah, the, the round stock on that carabiner is very similar to that fixed ring. Yeah. And those 25KN fixed rings that you get, so. Safe enough for some applications. Oh, this goopy stuff? Yeah, that wasn't on there before. Melted oh. nylon. It's yellow. Oh, yeah. wow. It's like melted, deformed. Plastic? It feels like a plastic shopping bag. <laughs> but it is. It's like paper thin. You see that? You can see through it. Though. Yeah. The next girth hitch is girth hitching it twist another sling. Let's see how those do. 11.3 is the lowest we've gotten so far. Is it like crispy at all? Yeah, it does feel like it's... See, so see at the very tips of those Dyneema fibers? Those little melted blob looking things? Yeah. So... We're getting pretty rope nerdy here. So our next girth hitch test has isolated our flaw here. We're going to find out if this is worse than this for the sling. <laughs> the new one broke. Shut the front door. Who would have thought of that? <laughs> this is where it rolled. 
Yeah. This is the original bad spot I was trying right. to isolate. So that means the rolling started about right in here. This was 2.76 kilonewtons to get that to roll, which was very low, right? That's why the girth hitch master point is, is often a concern. Um, and this is super nice all the way until it's not. Even so, all that and you still, the new sling is the one that still blew up. And at a relatively similar number to our last 11? girth hitch sling to sling, 11s. Wow, that is surprising. Holy cow. <laughs> No way! Three for three! No way. Yes! <laughs> How is that possible? This bends up and this bends down. Yeah, they look the same. Yeah, they look like they're equally they, bending. Yeah, this is bending up, this is bending down. That looks totally mm -hmm. It's totally symmetrical. Let me show you guys how to do this. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> this strand isn't back, which is the preferred way. This is introducing all the bends into this one and zero bends in the other one. Yeah. Even though it's pinching, it's not bending. Our hypothesis is wrong. <laughs> it broke, course. it finally broke this one at 11, at the same number we've been getting. Wow. But this one somehow survived. I am shocked that didn't break substantially lower that way. Wow. That was six more dead Isaacs. Look how much damage this one got. Mm -hmm. That's cut through. And this is tubular, right? So you can see the, the gap in there. And this one's a clean cut, right? Ooh. Hmm. Microscope. Keep going. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it doesn't have the the burnt bubble on the end. Hmm. Rob noticed a tiny section that's not, a little yeah, toasted, yeah. but it's not. If it's, just feeling it with your fingers, you can feel this kind of. Yeah, it feels melted, like burnt, crispy uh, plastic. Whoa. Whoa! Okay, so this is different, right? The girth hitch is still intact. I use the word loosely. Look how it's damaged. But this, where it was cut 50% through, because this is getting stronger results, this isn't able to compete with that. So this is the girth hitched sling that broke, and I can't get the girth hitch out. So we're going to just try to use this and girth hitch a new sling to see if that breaks. So where did I pull? Right here. See that melted spot? Feel yeah. that. Oh yeah, it's all deformed, crispy. Yeah, you can you can see it in the camera that it's melted, and that's what this was on. And this is I actually girth hitched this to that, so this had all the bends in it. Hmm. But feel how crispy that is. Oh yeah, it's like all the way down through the fibers. This has a higher melting point, but it's easier to get more heat out of nylon mm -hmm. because it has more of the friction whereas the dyneema is so slippery it's hard to get to that melting point yeah generally good practice to connect your slings with a carabiner to keep things at full strength but if you ever need to girth hitch them together to set up your quickie top rope seems like it's going to be fine we're through our anchor points here which would of, would of course be carabiners in real life so you don't even open up the carabiner nope and you can do this with the gate locked if you wanted to and this is like a poor man's rigging plate at this point. If it's an HMS carabiner, you can clip yourself, the person, and a bunch of stuff in here. Wow, 32. It weakens the sling. You shouldn't ever do that. It's dangerous. Hold on. What'd we get? Yeah, you guys are right. 32 NFL football players because one kilonewton is the average weight of an NFL player. How many NFL players are on a team? Uh, there's 11, and when 11 plays 11 offense versus defense, that's 22 football players on the field. 22 kilonewtons is about the equivalent to what all this stuff's rated at. So if you can imagine this sling holding up 22 football players all strung together, that's pretty ridiculously strong. kind of safety ratio would you want because you don't want a nine 9 9.1 kilonewton anchor if nines are worst right you want some sort of a safety ratio i don't think there's a standard one for recreational climbing but i think most people would probably be happy climbing on 
something that is at least twice as strong as what you're ever going to put on the anchor. I think if you're getting 20 to 25 kilonewtons at an anchor, super strong enough for any normal climbing situation, even for fall factor twos, which you're introducing an entirely different risk besides your master point breaking at that point. So as long as we're getting in the 20 range, super good enough, which means this is super good enough. The question is, is it redundant if one side gets cut, even though that's also kind of a niche problem to be having, because that means you have rocks hitting you. So we're gonna do this one more time, but we're gonna add this sliding X factor that Jan Camus brought up in one of his videos, where it might mitigate the risk of it being more redundant. And whether or not that is, um, I believe it helps a situation that never happens, but that is something we're gonna test where you have one of these strands going through this other strand and you already have so much going on here. I don't know if that's going to affect the strength, but we will find out. Broke in the girth hitch and it broke super good enough. You can see that that edge was torn in the process. So now we're gonna test nylon and see how fat this is. You might think that it's better to add to this end, but you don't want the force on the gate side of a carabiner. You want it in line with the spine. And this is super good enough as long as it's not interfering with that. And this is where you would want something fat so you can keep the force right down here. Oh, it's redundant. That's cool. but only 13.48 to break that part. John, you're in charge of untying that. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Whose idea was this? Yeah. Um, the audience. I think we need the Incredible Hulk to untie this puppy. Dun -dun. Oh my God, I don't think that's gonna do it. That was really consistent. Oh, like way, way more than this. What's funny is the only forces that I'd be like, oh, that's too low is the nylon girth hitch directly to the hanger. But everything else we tested over the top, good enough for anchor building for sure. Oh, I don't know if we were breaking gear fear or not, but you can get that shirt at hownottoswag.com. It's that slick or what? So good. Slick as Dyneema. Something I probably should have brought up at the beginning was these are uh, black diamond nylon, 18 millimeter wide slings and Cypher 8.0 millimeter Dyneema slings. And they're all brand new. So everything was apples for apples throughout this test. This is kind of an expensive test. So thank you to those who donate. He is one of them. <laughs> Save you guys the trouble. The girth hitch master point isn't redundant. That's right. In that very, very, very tiny chance of your sling being loaded at six or seven kilonewtons and it being magically cut at the same time, then it's not redundant. The yeah. rest of the time, good to go. If you're risking falling on a factor two, but who's falling on a factor two, you should have a Jesus draw at the first bolt, so they're not falling directly on that master point. But if we're like true, true, true redundancy is super important for whatever weird situation you're in or you have risk of rock fall, then you can build your anchor differently. You can also build this with two slings. If you started with just, it somehow accidentally got cut without being loaded, what does it slip at? Yeah, that's been uh, tested by Derek DeBruin okay. in Utah. If it's loose and sloppy and it gets cut, then it can start to slide. Derek's basic premise was tug on it a couple times with yeah, the you weight, should, and that's all you need to do. Yeah. So if you don't think a slow pull test is valid for the girth hitch master point, <sighs> <laughs> That's scary. Uh, we're going to drop test it after having magically one side of this anchor magically failed from rock fall that didn't damage me not wearing a helmet. <coughs> this is kind of slipping. You can see like definitely does not go up to that bolt up here anymore. Oh, that didn't even slow it down. <laughs> 5.18. I mean, that's a whipper. Yeah. But what about nylon, you ask? Oh, I hope it works. Oh, God. Oh. 
is gnarly. That's holding a lot better. 13.12 when I dropped this and forgot to record it. <laughs> Three, two, one. 14.04.